Good morning, students. Welcome to Math Lesson 111. It is May 8th, 2020. It is Friday for you, isn't it? So, multiplying decimal numbers by 10, by 100, and by 1,000. So, today we are looking at each place of the decimal number system is assigned a particular value, right? So, when I'm multiplying, the value of each place is 10 times greater when we move one place to the left, right? So here we have ones, here we have tens, then we have hundreds. It is 10, 10 times greater. All right, so when we multiply, we are very talented at this. When we multiply 10 times 34, we multiply the one times the 34, we get 34. We put the zero on the end. So the digits all shift to the left. All right, so when we are multiplying 34 hundredths times 10, the digits still shift to the left, and the, but the decimal shifts to the right. So we end up with 3 and 4 tenths. All right, so all the digits shift to the left and the decimal point to the right, okay? When we multiply 100, it is like multiplying 10 times 10, right? So when we multiply 100, we shift the decimal point two places to the right. And then when we multiply by 1,000, which is 10 times 10 times 10, we shift the decimal point three places to the right. All right, so the number of places we shift the decimal point is the same as the number of zeros we see in 10, 100, or 1,000. All right, so we would be doing this, when we look at this number, we have 1 and 234 thousandths times 100. So here you go. You have two zeros right here, right? So I am going to shift the decimal point two places to the right. All right? Two places to the right. So the question they are asking is why? Why do, did we shift the decimal point two places to the right? And that's because 100 has two zeros in it, right? So we are going, so it'd be multiple, like multiplying this times 10 times 10. So we are going two places. All right, it is time for our lesson practice. These math lessons at the end of the book have been pretty short, haven't they? All right, so today I put it on a piece of paper as always because it's just easier for you to see how we work. All right, so on these problems today, as I look, the first thing I'm going to look at is, I'm going to look at how many zeros I have here. I have one zero. That means my decimal point is going to shift one place to the right. So I'm going to end up with 12 and 34 hundredths. All right. On this problem, hoo, 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 on B, I have three zeros. Three zeros, so my decimal point is going to shift. Oh, I need a better pen. One, two, three. So my decimal point is going to end up right there. I have one, two, three, four, which means I have 1,234. So one and 234 thousandths times a thousand equals 1,234. All right, here we go. I First thing I always do, two zeros. That means I'm shifting two, zero, or two places, correct? All right, so I have 12 and 34 hundredths again. All right, D, I am shifting one because I have one zero, correct? One place, so I am going to have three and 45 hundredths. All right, our next problem, I have two zeros. Two zeros, one, two. So I'm going to have 34 and five tenths, right? My next problem, guess what? My next problem, I only have one zero. Actually, I'm gonna make this different. I'm gonna make this Oh, in your book, actually, I think we have three zeros somehow when I did this. Okay, times a thousand. So I am going to move my decimal one, two, three, three places. One, two, three. And you have 300 
45,000. Here we go. One zero, one place. I'm going to have 56 and 7 tenths. Oops. 56 and 7 tenths. I moved my decimal one place. Here we go. I have 5 and 67 hundredths. <clears throat> I am going to multiply this times 1,000 with three zeros. So I will go 1, 2, 3. What do I need to put in place at the end when I have this extra place? I put my zero, right? So I will have 5,670, which is logical. My number should be getting that much larger, correct? When you think about five times a thousand. So, all right. Next problem, I have two zeros. <clears throat> my voice is getting all funny. One, two. My decimal ends up here. I have 567. All right, I hope you are an expert by now. And today, our mystery word is not a mystery word at all. Do problems 1 through 27. You do not have to do... Oh, wait. I want you to do 1 through 28 today. 1 through 28, because 28 is good practice for us, and they will be kind of fun. All right. Have a great day.